Member for Surrey Cloverdale. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, last week, I had the pl privilege of attending a sod turning for a new affordable seniors housing project in my riding of Surrey Clo Cloverdale. Sapone Manor will replace a 50 unit residence that's several decades old and nearing the end of its service date. Bruno Sapone, whose building the uh, building it will be named after, passed away in 2021. Uh, Bruno was a longtime community volunteer, past Cloverdale Chamber of Commerce president, heritage supporter, and champion of all things Cloverdale. I knew Bruno when he was a volunteer firefighter at Fire Hall Haight, downtown Cloverdale. Mr. Speaker, this new build will add another 30, 39 units for a total of 89. The five-story building will have mostly studio apartments with a smattering of one-bedroom units. What's important and exciting about this, Mr. Speaker, is the residents will remain in their, in their homes as the building is being built, and when it's constructed, they will simply walk across the parking lot and enter the new homes. The ultimate goal would then to be knock over the old building that they're coming from and to build another set of units of about 100. The construction of these uh, new homes will ensure that a safe supply of good quality, affordable homes for the seniors that are in Cloverdale so they can continue to afford to live here in our community. A project like this needs partners, and it's important to recognize those partners. The Senior Citizens Housing of South Surrey uh, Society provided the land. Columbus Homes is contributing $4.5 million to the project. The province is providing $6.2 million in a grant to the project. Mr. Speaker, just like Mike Garisto, I'm looking forward to the building permit to be issued so a place like this can be in our needed uh, community as soon as possible. Thank you.